Did you know that the world record for longest period of no sleep is 11 days and 24 minutes? That was set back in 1964 by 17 year old Randy Gardner. He did it for a school science project and ended up staying awake for 264.4 hours. That's dedication. After the experiment was completed though, Guinness stopped recording no sleep records because going excessive amounts of time without sleeping is actually quite dangerous. What happens to us when we don't sleep, you ask? I posed that same question to my friends at the Cleveland Clinic. Let's talk about what they said. I'm Tori and welcome to the TMI Show. Here's a crazy fact for you. Science has no definitive reason for why humans sleep, or well, at least not yet. We understand that sleep offers benefits. Being well rested feels pretty great, but there's not one singular reason why humans need to sleep. Now, we may not know why we need to sleep, but we certainly know what happens to our bodies if we don't. Maybe you're a student cramming for exams and projects. Maybe you work two jobs. Maybe you're trapped in a nightmare on Elm Street. Whatever the reason, you aren't sleeping, and that's not good. I'm making my head spin how many activities we can do. Play Army Man? Yeah. Come on. This is how we do it. Da, 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 da. Hey, I never asked you. Yeah. You like guacamole? <laughs> ah! Oh, God! After a simple 24 hours of no sleep, noticeable effects begin. For starters, you become more irritable. You're grumpy, cranky, short fused. You can also start feeling the lack of sleep physically. Your muscles could start to cramp or you could experience tremors since your body has not been fully able to relax. The worst symptoms include issues with hand-eye coordination, which you need a lot of when you drive. Also slurred speech, slower response time, again, required when you're behind the wheel, poor decision-making and judgment, and even memory issues. Obviously not the way you wanna live your life. Now all that is only after a single day of staying awake. Now burning the candles at both ends only once in a while won't likely cause any long-term effects on your health, and your adrenaline levels may increase to help compensate for the fatigue you're feeling. But longer periods of sleeplessness can get you smack dab into the danger zone. After 36 hours of no sleep, your initial symptoms will continue and worsen. Plus, your metabolism will begin to slow, causing fluctuations in your appetite, body temperature, and even hormone levels. There will be an increase in inflammatory markers in your blood, and that's significant because inflammation is linked to heart disease and heart attacks, cancer, diabetes, and other serious conditions. At 48 hours, hey, that's a full two days, all your symptoms intensify to the point that it is difficult to function at all. You lose your ability to process emotions properly, experiencing drastic mood swings and severely impaired decision-making. Basically, your brain is out of control. A severe effect of this brain fatigue can be depersonalization. Now, this is a phenomenon related to anxiety where you feel like you're observing yourself from outside your body, like you're watching yourself in a movie rather than living your life. Now, the most dangerous effect of going 48 hours without sleep is something called microsleep. Microsleep is when your brain goes to sleep for a brief period of time, sometimes for up to 30 seconds. It's so sudden and so short that you won't know that it's happening, but you may still feel disoriented when it's over. The consequences can be scary. Now, let's say you're driving cross country and you're pushing that 48 hour window. If you go into microsleep, you could cause a serious collision, injuring not just yourself, but others. Now, if for some reason you wind up staying awake for 72 hours, all bets are off. It's so dangerous and unethical for researchers to deprive study subjects of sleep for that long, so we know very little about the effects. At 72 or more hours of no sleep, all the effects continue to compound, which can lead to severe anxiety and depression among all the other health issues. You're also likely to start experiencing hallucinations and illusions. Because sleep deprivation is so dangerous and traumatic, it has been used as a torture technique for centuries. Simply getting adequate sleep regularly will prevent these symptoms. 
But sleeping well regularly isn't all that easy, especially for people who work overnight shifts like truck drivers, factory workers, nurses, and doctors. If your job disrupts your ability to get a healthy dose of sleep on a consistent basis, talk to a healthcare provider about how to avoid the physical and mental health fallout. Well, anyway, I think I'm gonna hit the hay. I'm starting to see a little cat floating across the studio. If you've got a TMI question, let me know in the comments. Have a good night. We'll see you later.